Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, it is always a delight to be with you, to share love with you. It may seem that we have been away from you, but truly, beloveds, we have always been as we are, which is one with you. One with you in love, one with you in grace, one with you in knowing, knowing that only love is real. Beloveds, when you pray, when you think thoughts, understand that each thought is a prayer. When you pray consciously, you say, I wish for this to be healed. I wish for this to be done. I wish for this to stop. I wish for this to begin. But beloveds, understand that every single thought that you think is indeed a prayer as well. Even if that is one of judgment, or that is one of cursing, or that is one of damning, or that is one of blessing. When you pray for others, you do indeed bless them with your prayers. When you judge others, and when you judge yourself, and when you rant and rave within your seeming minds, you are casting darkness. And what we are all here to do, beloveds, is to bring forth the light. And that is done through the unification of hearts and minds in love. Find within your heart where it is that you feel fear and bring love to it. Say, what is it that I can love about this very thing that I fear, this circumstance, this person, this situation? What is it that I judge for judgment is also fear? How can I bring the love? How can I bring God's good pleasure? How can I bring the truth of all that ever is? Allow yourself to breathe, beloveds, and to know that you are indeed the very breath of God, the very breath incarnate, walking in the <laughs> perceived flesh, living within a perceived world. Your dreams are all connected and interrelated. You are all in each other's dreams. And yet, ultimately, as a Christed being, beloveds, we all become one. When we decide to weave together all of the fractions, the factors, the fractals, the aspects of beingness, and we come to recognize and see uh, the place where this person looks like they are bombing and fighting and stabbing and killing and harming and hurting. Beloveds, that is some aspect of our soul that has continued to perpetuate from lifetimes long ago. So when you allow yourself to come back to the arms of grace, you surrender and you say, thy will be done, not mine. You will find that those seeming situations will indeed fade. Or how can they exist? Beloved, when the water comes, it will cleanse. And the light is very much like the water. When you bathe yourself, you become clean. Purify yourself with your breath, beloved. Let your breath be what cleanses you. Let the light be what cleanses you. Let the water be what cleanses you. And indeed, every day, spend time in the light. One moment. <laughs> Sahana Grace and her moments of popularity is once again receiving one of her many friends. <laughs> we are all friends, are we not? friends of love, friends of journeys and lifetimes together with each other. Understand, beloveds, that the resurrection, the point of the resurrection was to show you that indeed there is life after death, what seems to be death. It is the death of a body that is not real. But your spirit is indeed eternal. And that is what links you. So the next time that you greet another beloved, see if you can greet them from your spirit rather than from your mind, rather than looking to the history that you believe that you have with them, the ways in which you have known them, how thin or how fat they are, how tall or how short they are, how light or how dark their skin is, how round or how slanted their eyes are. Beloveds, these are all judgments. How much money they have, how much money they do not have, where they live, what they drive, how many children they have, whether they have never married, whether they have had children or not. Beloveds, these are all judgments that allow you to identify people according to the ego mind. But when you come to them pure of heart and say, I do not know who you are, and indeed I do not know what you are for, but I know that I love you. 
I know that I love you because you breathe as I breathe and we both breathe God's breath. I love you even though you are a seeming stranger to me. But how can anyone be a stranger when all are created in love? Love has no strangers. Therefore, neither do you, for what you are is the embodiment of love, beloveds. Go with my blessings. Call upon me. Call upon all of us. Ask for our help. Pray and pray aloud. <laughs> and pray often, beloveds. The tides have turned. You are held in the arms of grace. And you are held in the arms of love. I love you. You have opened more to receive the love that we have to give you. And for that, we thank you. For it is our greatest pleasure to love you the way that we do. Blessings to you, beloved brothers and sisters. And we will speak with you again. <laughs>